thought of miles of polished granite, crystal clear water, and wilderness multi-day runs was something I couldn't resist, so when summer set in, we packed up our boats and headed across the country to the Sierras. We're coming into Sacramento, looking down into the valleys, all I can see was big white slides, man, miles and miles of uh, we're chilling in the Aztec, which I've heard is the second best uh, off-road vehicle available. No kidding! What, uh, what's the first best off-road vehicle available? Somebody else's rental car. I hope we'll be on the river by 8 tonight. It's about 2.15. We're running back to grab another rental car. The Aztec is no go on the racks. Not good. That's why we're here, baby. are over at camp sleeping. It's about, uh, I guess, 7.30 here in the Sierras. Sun's coming up. Absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, we got here around 5.30 yesterday. Dropped a little over 1,200 vertical feet in about two miles. Pretty uh, pretty impressive warm-up for the trip. I hope that we can uh, maintain uh, that kind of gradient on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you can hear South Silver in the background rumbling away. We're going to get up and cook some eggs and make some uh, tortillas and uh, hopefully uh, be on the river by say 10 11 o'clock uh, I won't keep much more of your time I tell you what let me finish up with what I'm doing over here <clears throat> what you didn't think I'd be doing something down here you think I'm just gonna sit around and talk to you guys Well, 
All right, here we are, day three, California 2004. Um, trip's going great. We're at uh, Upper Cherry Creek now. Uh, we're trying to uh, check and make sure the level looks good. Uh, uh, so hopefully the level's going to be good and we'll be hiking in today and the uh, next few days be in that canyon. Upper Cherry Creek was our main mission on the trip. It didn't take long after seeing it for the first time to know we would have to wait for the level to drop if we were going to run it. This gave us the chance to check out some of the other whitewater in the area. Then why don't we have it on video? Maybe you guys just missed it. Okay. We came back in here to Cherry Creek, checked the level again about 36 hours after we checked it yesterday. Um, the little car we built with the high water mark got washed away, I guess, or moved. It's not there anymore, so we don't know how much it dropped. It definitely dropped some. It looks more manageable, but it's still not good. I guess we're just going to have to come back in the morning and look at it again and see what it looks like in the morning. Dude, it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't that bad. You could have flipped The next morning, the water had returned to at least the level of our first check. After a lot of scouting and debate, we decided to abandon our months of preparation and the idea of an epic boat-assisted hike. Our disappointment not being able to run this magical creek was quickly replaced with excitement as we turned our attention to another California multi-day classic. streets you can make that call but you can't take me off on drunk weary feet Cause you can't and you won't and you don't do watch me fall I can't go on I can't go on something's gone wrong terrible Drinks bourbon like a man. Day two, Fantasy Falls. Starting right off the bat with another portage. Early on the second day, Mace felt that we were gaining flow too quickly and decided to hike out. This left Dave Harris and me to complete the run. I can't explain this. I never could. It's a shame you never told me, but you. Fantasy Falls Day 2. We're going through there. It's all good, so come on out. Don't seem to your death. I can't explain it. I never could. It's a shame you never told me, but you.
It was ugly running the rapid. Uh, had the line I wanted. Uh, unfortunately, there was a tree in it that we didn't really see from above. It's, uh, got me, stopped me on a dime, and I just swim very far. At least I got the boat out to that swim. Day three on Fantasy Falls so far. Uh, we started off the day with some just horrible portages and then a uh, long flatwater stretch. It's really pretty, but hopefully we'll be getting into the good soon. Mid-morning on the fourth day, we drifted onto Salt Springs Reservoir and were overcome with a feeling of exhausted accomplishment. Five miles of flat water was now all that separated us from returning east with our mission complete. Glad to be here. Yeah, yeah baby. Susquehanna River at Holtwood is a mile-long stretch in between two big hydro dams. There are about 10 or 12 different play spots here at different water levels. And the thing that really just blows my mind about this place is how few people paddle here. It's possible to get out here and have a play spot all to yourself. This rock and roll is the most dynamic little hole you've ever seen. It has a facing diagonal wave and a nice, tight, deep little hole in the middle that's great for riding once. Well, crazy change she used to be that follower of the law. All 
break to let the lines die down. There were two of us here today. Those two people were Jeremy and me. So while we took a break, the lines instantly died down. And now that the lines have died down, we're going to go back out for another couple rides. Man, Doug's going for the hole. Here he comes. There he is. Holy huge. long as way for a river that we have no idea if it has enough water or not. But we're in California. It's beautiful. Three weeks after our first attempt at Cherry Creek, I was back at Cherry Lake with a different crew, loading up boats for the 11 mile hike to the put in. Is it going to fit in there, Bobby? I wish I had like a little sissy ass pad. Probably not. <laughs> I'm really afraid that this backpack is not going to hold all this gear. Let's see that. Uh huh. It's a long hike. If it does, if it breaks, it's a long hike. About five miles into the uh, hike into Upper Cherry Creek, uh, just came around the bend, got the first look down into Cherry Bomb Gorge. It looks really sick. Uh, it's just the kind of motivation I need to knock off the next six miles. The trail's been pretty good, but I don't think you could call uh, hauling an 80 pound boat. Uh, easy. The next morning, Bobby still hadn't made it to the put-in. With the water level dropping quickly and unable to wait any longer, 
Kevin hikes back out to find him, while Gordon, Josh, and I headed downstream. The three of us dropped some of the best whitewater we had ever seen, Kevin found Bobby back at the trailhead. After breaking his pack and losing the trail on the way in, Bobby decided his best bet was to turn around and head back for civilization. The next day, they hiked a few miles up from the lake to sample the last few drops on Upper Cherry. With our group reunited, we had a few days to seek out what little late season water remained in California. Last night. 
No, you couldn't sleep last night. No, you couldn't, no, you couldn't, no, you couldn't sleep last night. Why you? Why me? Why anything at all? Why trapped? Why free? Who gets to make that call? That's right, he wrote tonight. That's what the paper said. Got crashed, you were on sight. A family you did save. But there were others there and some that even died You've only got two hands, well how the hell could you decide? But you couldn't sleep last night You couldn't sleep last night You couldn't sleep last night What do you say? Why anything at all? Why trapped? Why free? to make that call. Why yes, why no? Why not, why so? Why touch, why go? Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Is it any wonder there's a lump upon my head? Is it any wonder someone please put me to Some creeks that always seem to call us back for more.
soul You took your abuse You can only win cause you've got nothing to lose Turn it up now, live it out loud Never back down, never back round Your life stormy Up now like a snow cloud Live an eyebrow, get your cash cow Your life stormy Up now like a showdown Never knew how, but you know now How to get low down My glove freeze! I'm glad I ran that. That was sweet. Hey, check this indestructible plastic right here, baby. Oh, body slam. Nice.
were unpacking the car, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw a Corona jumping. I just, I went for it. I wanted to save it. Didn't want to let it go. Uh, and it turned on me, cut me. Got in a fight with a Mexican, Mexican won. I like shaving my legs. I like them to be smooth. It's nice. First one big. Oh, right on. Perfect. Get uh oh, don't go there. Oh, three wheels it. Nice. I did say that Gordon was freaking alive. What do you say, Mace?
shaving my legs. Legs, legs, legs. Mexican flags. Yeah! Nice. You do it. I'm oh, just a baby. Oh! Yeah, that's good. One more I've done. You don't have to watch it. No kidding. Oh, I love Raymond's kill. It's got water in it. That's a plus, definitely. I love creeks with water in them. Contrary to what you might hear. <laughs> oh. One more. How many uh, hucks have you broken so far? Uh, this would be the second, but it's maintained. Day three with the big crack. It's going well. We're on day four. Day four with the crack. Well, day three is the crack, though. We're on day four. Oh.